Last time this happened, Bitcoin exploded. Plus, Michael Saylor is buying more Bitcoin and Robinhood with a partnership that could make it easier to buy, hold, and just transact with cryptocurrency going forward. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile, smash that like button, and let's get into it. So, currently the price of Bitcoin is at 43208 up 1.17% on the day. You can see if we zoom out a little bit that Bitcoin is able to break out on the four hour chart from the uh, bullish pennant that we had formed here, right? Uh, so until now, right, there hasn't been a candle that closed <clears throat> over or under on the four hour chart. Now we have one, two, and potentially a third candle here, although it has been tested, right? It has been tested in the past few hours. It touched a few times, it even went back in, but at the end of the four hour, we were above that level. So this is a positive note for Bitcoin here. <clears throat> although it is getting to the top of the stochastic full, as you can see, uh, but that is not too concerning for me. Now, this scenario where, which we talked about a few days ago, where Bitcoin could have broken under the trend trend line and going down to the 40,000 level for now it seems it's not playing out right uh, we did not see it go all the way to the end right it doesn't happen that we see all the way to the end of the bullish pennant sometimes there's a breakout there's a decision that it's going in a, in a certain direction and that's what we're seeing now we know right that the market is being suppressed or that there's not a lot of money coming to the market the fact is that it can separate even though we're seeing on the four hour chart here of Bitcoin uh, closing for already two candles confirmed and the fourth, third candle now we'll, we'll have to get the confirmation soon. Um, but we have these three, two and a half candles uh, above the trend uh, and that's a super bullish, but we haven't seen a separation yet, right? Uh, and it seems that today money is going into Ethereum, even Solana that had the issues today, money is going uh, that way. If we go and we take a look at the Bitcoin dominance, you can see that it's still not where it was um, a few weeks ago, uh, around uh, January uh, 10th, of course, when we hit the, the high of the dominance. Um, and then, of course, the sell-off, so the dominance went down, where Bitcoin was pulling back more than the rest of the cryptocurrency market. Now we're seeing it come back uh, but to 52.47% on the dominance here for Bitcoin. Um, so it would be interesting to see in the next coming days uh, where the price of Bitcoin goes from here. It has moved from the low uh, a nice uh, percentage, but of course it's still off of the high. So if we go to the low, which was at 38,000, uh, Bitcoin is up 12% in 14 days. Not amazing not terrible right if you go you know in the stock market 12 percent if the if the um s p 500 would move 12 percent in 14 days that would be amazing right um you know the, we had the pundits talking about bitcoin when it dropped uh, over 20 percent that it was in a bear market and and uh, when that happened i i mentioned that we can't classify bitcoin in the same uh you know terminology as the stock market even though we now have the bitcoin etfs um, because the volatility is in, in a totally different scale, right? Um, so the fact is that even they went from the high to the low 20%, we can't classify that as a bear market. In the stock market, if something goes down 20% or the market goes down 20%, they say you're in a bear market. And if you go up from the low 20%, you're in a bull market um, because the stock market, you know, a yearly movement could be 20%, right? On average, it moves 12%, uh, you know, on the average of 90 years, if I remember correctly, maybe it's 100 years, I don't know. But I know that it's 12% <laughs> um, on average, right? Some years are 30, some years are down, some years are 10, some years are five, right? On average. And so of course for Bitcoin, it's totally different scale of numbers, right? Um, and again, you know, this time in the previous bull market, or prior to Bitcoin having, most of the alts hadn't moved yet. And Bitcoin really hadn't moved. It was at this point around, um 10,000 right and it's 6x from there so if we 6x from here we would get to a situation where we would be around uh 300,000 right um so you know if if 240 250 if we get there right and you know 300,000 would be you know good 
right? People are talking about by 2030, um, a million, right? So if it, then 6x is from 300,000, you'd have 1,800,000, right? <laughs> so that, that could potentially happen. You know, you have Kathy Wood going out today, uh, but you know, she's getting a little, lot of slack because she sold NVIDIA and bought Tesla and NVIDIA skyrocketed and Tesla tanked. <laughs> Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, right? You can't have every single uh, trade or every single investment or every single, you know, thing. is It's not going to be 100% success rate. If anybody tells you they have 100% success rate, they're lying to you, right? Um, the, oh, they're only telling you about their successes. They're not telling you about the ones that went down. Um, Robinhood is connecting and integrating with MetaMask. This integration allows uh, eligible Robinhood customers to quickly fund their MetaMask wallet using their Robinhood accounts. So this is interesting. Um, this will potentially make it a lot easier uh, for people to potentially transfer assets uh, from Robinhood that they bought into MetaMask and then do whatever they want. <laughs> you, know, you could go Uniswap, you could buy NFTs, uh, you could go and, you know, if it's a... I'm not sure if Robinhood has Solana, right? But if AVAX, actually, I'm not sure what they have, the, the 12 cryptos that they have or 15 cryptos that they have on their platform, but it's going to make it a lot easier for people that already have money on Robinhood. They want to use the money there to purchase a crypto and then get off Robinhood fast, fast uh, connection here to uh, MetaMask. Um, so this, this is, uh, you know, makes it easy. Anything that makes it uh, easy, um, for consumers, I'm all for, right? Michael Saylor, uh, in January, he announced that they acquired an additional 850 Bitcoin for 37.2 million and now holds 190,000 Bitcoin. Um, Michael Saylor doesn't care what the price of Bitcoin is. He continues to buy, continues to accumulate. Some might say this is crazy. Some might say this is genius. Some might say this is the way, right? Uh, I know many people that they have automatic buy order every single month and they buy Bitcoin. It doesn't matter what, what price it's at and they dollar cost average, right? Um, and so the fact is that that's what he's doing, right? Uh, and he continues to buy, he continues to take profits from the, from the company and buy more and more Bitcoin, right? Uh, and um, 190,000, that's a lot, right? Let's uh, calculate that for just a second. 190,000 times uh, 43,000, let's take the price uh, today, it's $8.17 billion uh, that the company owns uh, in, uh, in Bitcoin. That's a lot, that's a lot. Um, you know, if you think about um, companies like NVIDIA that are 1.7 trillion or Apple that are 3 trillion, so, you know, 8 billion is nothing, it's bubkiss, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit. Right, uh, but for a company as the size of MicroStrategy, uh, that's a lot. It's a lot of Bitcoin, and uh, so it'd be interesting to see if he continues with this, um, with this uh, buying uh, every single month or every single quarter, um, a specific amount. It could probably change according to their earnings, but very interesting. Now, what happens that last time the price of Bitcoin rallied? So if we go back into the in the past, and we go all the way back to March of 2023 right the price of bitcoin was at 19,000 right if you remember what happened during this time bitcoin had fallen uh from around 25,000 all the way down to 19,000 it looked like oh that run up we had from 15 to uh 25 it was a fake out and that's it bitcoin is over bitcoin is dead uh, and it pulled back all the way to 19,000 but what happened right do you remember banks started failing so it's happening again, right? Uh, and from that moment, right, Bitcoin is up 121%. You might say, well, that's not a lot for Bitcoin. And you're right. But you have to remember that we were in a bear market during this time, right? We were in close to Bitcoin having, and Bitcoin has never had a new all-time high prior to Bitcoin having, right? So what happened? Uh, new York Community Bank stock the bank that acquired the Collapse Bank, Signature Bank, that collapsed back in March of 2023, crashed another 25% today. The stock is now down a massive 61% in 2024, its lowest level since June of 2000. Currently, roughly 40% of her assets are not under FDIC insurance. Stock decline accelerated after the bank posted an unexpected $260 million loss in the fourth quarter. Is the regional bank crisis back? We take a look at the stocks here. You can see outside of 
New York CB, NYCB, there's Valley National is down 25, Metropolitan is down 15. So there's a, a slew of them that are having issues. And this could be a, a snowball effect again. Uh, and this could, like then, where people were like, oh my God, the banks are going to collapse. I'm moving all my money into Bitcoin. We could see a phenomenon like this again. Although, like we're looking at the daily chart here again, the, the stochastic flow is very high for Bitcoin. Um, so on the one hand, I'm seeing indications that are telling me the price needs to go up. On the other hand, I'm seeing indications that are signaling to me that the price needs to go down. So I'm kind of on the fence here, right? And I previously stated that this is a moose market. I mean, it's a hybrid between a, a bull and a bear, right? If they do the nasty, you'd get a moose, I think. <laughs> Right, if you do some weird uh, uh, genetic engineering, right, you get a moose, uh, and so we're not here nor there, and that's why the market feels kind of stuck because a lot of the money doesn't know where we are going here, right? The the grayscale selling uh, subsided a little bit, but then we had that Gemini news a few days ago that they said that they were going to be selling grayscale shares, uh, and so that created a little bit of pressure on the market. But we've had consolidation here and this level for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days in a row. It's hard, right? It's hard. But after consolidation, there's movements up or down, uh, you know, and Bitcoin does this. You can see it did it here and it did it here and it did it here, but drip, it, it creates movement and it moves up. And we're still we're still prior to having, which is two months away. So don't don't stress too much. <laughs> Check out the links in the description down below if you see anything interests you. I really appreciate it. It helps us keep the lights on. Thank, whoops. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.